Hi guys, I got a quick tip for you for the surfaces today. Here I have a cut fill map which I created from my original ground to my finished design. And as you can see, this is my area of interest. However, I get a cut fill over here outside of my boundary and that the reason is when I turn on the finished design, as you can see, even though here is a little uh, fence, even though th I have no data over there, I uh, it, the Trimble Business Center when I created the surface, it triangulated over, which is not uh, with these triangles are not true. What I can do, I can cut them out, or another trick is that I can cut the surface over so i would go to finish design and i would select uh, under surfaces you have surface boundaries and you pick whichever one you want so this time we are looking at my finish design and i'm going to select my boundary and i have a boundary and i called it aoi my area of interest so now i'm just going to add that boundary to my surface what that's going to do, it's going to limit my surface to that boundary and anything outside of that boundary is going to be not there. And as you can see, if I turn off my finished design, my cut fill disappeared. However, as you can see, I have a little, uh, I missed uh, at the bottom because I was playing with the finished design. So I have to redo my boundary. Now, if I want to take it out, I just simply do remove and it's going to jump back. If for some reason I would have, uh, you know, finished design and I just don't want to show certain percentage of cut fill, let's say I want to just uh, show my cut fill on this track here, I can select that uh, track, select my cut fill map and add that boundary to my cut fill, even though my finished design and original ground are outside of this boundary. My cut fill is only showing inside. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next one.